Hello, it's Robert. Welcome back again to my channel. Uh, today I'm in Columbus, Ohio, outside Varese, it's a Ghanaian uh, restaurant. I'm here to uh, showcase uh, the Ghanaian uh, jollof rice and I'll be sharing uh, the food experience with you inside. Uh, so please uh, stay tuned and uh, uh, watch the video till the end and I hope you uh, learn uh, and know for sure which is the best draw price between Ghanaian and Nigerian and uh, today I'll be having some uh, draw rice and this will be a uh, Ghanaian draw rice with some uh, grilled tilapia super excited to uh, try uh, this version of uh, jollof, and I'll be sharing with you uh, the entire experience uh, when the food arrives Thank you again for watching and stay tuned for um, more videos. So I do have my um, grilled tilapia and as you can see on top here some toppings on top of it uh, We do have some uh, tomatoes onions uh, also we do have some jalapeno and uh, a sauce that comes with the tilapia and here we do have amazing Ghanaian jaro rice So I can't wait to dig in. I'm super excited and uh, let me start with the tilapia. Mm. Actually, I'm just gonna put my fork on the side. Try to do it with my hands. Wow. Take a look at that. Fish is very flavorful, um, very smoky. Very smoky. And I think um, the smokiness comes from the grill and that makes, um, you know, the fish very distinctive as in terms of, uh, you know, the flavor. Uh, I like the spices that they have in here. Um, I cannot tell exactly what kind of spices, but um, looks like it's some Ghanaian uh, spices. I can uh, taste some uh, garlic, uh, some ginger, some ha uh, habanero, and also uh, I believe some basil uh, in it too. Mm. Let me chase it with some uh, tomatoes again and some onions. Mm. This is good. Mm. Very good. Tell me, how do you call this dish in a country? I'm gonna try uh, to dip um, my uh, fish in my in the sauce. Mm. This is the brown sauce. It does have some tomatoes as well, some onions, um, some um, habanero as well. It's really good. It's like finger licking good. Now, I've tried my jar of rice just by itself. And if you've watched my uh, other video for the Nigerian uh, jar of rice, you can tell that this uh, type of rice is different. Uh, from the other one. Uh, this one looks more of, um, uh, I'll say maybe jasmine rice. The giraffe rice actually is very uh, flavorful. Uh, it's not that spicy compared to the Nigerian one. And um, as you can tell, like um, the grain, uh, I believe this is a uh, uh, jasmine long grain, um, you know, rice. It's more individual. Uh, it's not sticky. 
and that makes it, you know, very um, distinctive. Mm. Wow. I like the mixture too of the tomatoes, uh, onions, and um, you know, the habanero spices and Ghanaian rices. I mean, excuse me, um, spices. It's really good. It's really good. Mm. I'm gonna try it with the sauce too. Let's see how it pairs with the sauce. I'm gonna pour it in my rice. Give it a little stir. I'm gonna have a bite of it. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, that's amazing. Actually, what I just learned today, actually. This type of rice, I mean, this type of jerk rice, uh, Ghanaian, comes with this stew. And um, it kind of like amplifies the, 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 the flavor compared to the Ghanaian one, the Nigerian one. The Nigerian one pretty much did not need a sauce. But with this one, I think with the sauce and the stew, it kind of like takes this jar of rice to the next level. Now, let me try to pair the fish and some uh, jar of rice. I'm gonna add some uh, toppings. Feel like I cannot eat with this fork, so let me do it like African style. So let me mix it a little bit and again. Gonna do it like African style with my hands. Now, oh, take a look at that combination of jar of rice, tilapia, onions, tomatoes. Mm, cheers. Wow, just wow. I'm loving this jar of rice, honestly. And the fact that it's not that spicy, it makes it super easy for me to, you know, enjoy the food and even eat more of it compared to um, the Nigerian one. Mm. Wow. You watch out for some uh, bones. You don't want to choke yourself out. Mm. Okay, one more. One more bite here. Mm. 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 I'm gonna have a little bit of a taste of uh, the fish head right here. You know, they say like the the, the, the fish head is the one with the most uh, flavors. Mm. Wow. Thank you again for watching my videos. Keep on sharing, uh, comment, li uh, like and uh, subscribe to my channel as well and let me know on your end what kind of jar of rice you think is the best Ghanaian or Hello. Nigerian please put your comments on the comment box below and let me know what you think thank you again for watching my videos uh, the experience of this restaurant has been amazing uh, the restaurant is super clean uh, the service is excellent the food is made to order uh, you order and then it's prepared for you and the cost too it's not crazy it's very affordable it's 25 dollars for uh the tilapia and uh, the jar of rice or which one you think is the best jar of rice and even if you do have some jar of rice in your country let me know what is it called and what are the ingredients uh, that you put in your jar of rice thank you again for watching and stay with me till the end 
Alright guys, so this is what's left of my um, giraffe fries. As you can see, it's completely empty. I kind of devoured the whole uh, giraffe. Uh, it was really good. And the fish, uh, it's really huge. So pretty much I ate uh, one side and then the second side. Just gonna save it for tomorrow. So yeah, uh, overall, as I mentioned before, the food is amazing. Um, service is great. Uh, and uh, for sure, I'll leave the description of the address of this uh, restaurant on the link down below. Uh, I'm gonna reserve my comment and let you decide which you believe or you think is the best jar of rice between uh, Ghanaian and Nigerian. Thank you again for watching my videos. Uh, please remember to subscribe, share, like, and comment. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.